Hello. Hello. It's nice to have you here. It's, yes. Not just you. Well, you were a... home listening as well, or oh. wherever you are. Maybe you by the end oh. one, having a little walk home. I thought you were happy to see me for a minute then. Oh, that as well. It's always very pleasant. This is my favourite time of the week, coming along chat to you. <laughs> yeah, Welcome right, to well. episode 104 of Topicopedia. I'm Steve. I'm Nicole. And we're here. We are absolutely here. Yes. <laughs> I must admit, I think I've rocked up with a bit less prep than you. But I Uh-oh. have actually been trying to get to grips with posting on social media. Ah, oh, yeah. Well done you, though, because <laughs> I haven't had a chance uh, but the, to look at that yet. But, yeah. <laughs> the amusing thing is, hopefully this will have disappeared by the time this airs. I had a go at doing a TikTok story because I've seen someone go, oh, this is a new thing that TikTok's raving about. It's trying to put it in front of everyone. You know, you want to jump on the trends, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So TikTok stories is where it's at, apparently. So I recorded right. some. See, I, I, thought, um... I have seen it, but I don't understand. <laughs> because really, yeah. uh, the only people who are going to see your story are your followers, right? Yeah. I'm... But yeah, I'm yeah, I am. Yeah. Bit, but I was hoping our followers would actually be able to give us some some bits to talk about, maybe some points that we're going to miss when we talk about the topics in this episode. But that's true. firstly, that I can't see where you can comment on it. Oh. And secondly, I recorded a fantastic message, but nobody could hear it. Oh no! It just it just plays whatever soundtrack it wanted to play. And then I How tried recording. Weird. I tried recording a third one. And then I I couldn't actually turn the soundtrack off and turn on original sound. It wouldn't let me turn on original sound. Like, okay, so so it's it's just it's what it gives you then. Like you just put myself that's as a face so, in the corner. Um, that's absolutely bizarre. I think you can you know how you can like repost things and things like that? I think you can share our posts to your story. I could be wrong. Oh, I could maybe. be very wrong. But I think you can. So maybe do like a normal. Po- Hang on. Let me let me just investigate this <laughs> in real time. Well, the funny thing is, I'm thinking we'll get some comments for for the stuff. We've, you know, because it'd be great if we could actually just go on social Ooh. media and say, well, you know what, we're going to go in the studio and record. What do you think yes. about this? And maybe get a few other opinions on it. Yeah, and throw that them would in be there, lovely. Get some mentions well, on. I can see the ones that you've scheduled. Yes. Wow, that's exciting. Right, so I'm going to take this one here. No idea what that is. It's one of yours. I'm going to pause it. Um, let's see if I can. Uh, oh, add a story. Yes. Top. Yeah, I can. There, I've added it to our story. Oh, there we the go. The- <laughs> it's on our story. So that's the way to do it, I think. Just make it a normal post. And then just share and- it the story. There we go. And then I share it the story. It like yes. That's all right. Well, do you know what? It's not always that obvious, is it? Especially when you think... No, I, well, I ca- it, kind of like the idea of it timing out, you know, because there's no point giving us feedback on a topic when we've already recorded it. Well, unless I think you can maybe share one of our videos, but then maybe add text over it just for the story. Okay, maybe. Yeah, could do. Uh, that's, Look at that's, that. You're full of ideas. Uh, it's like it's, you know how to use yeah. the TikTok malarkey. I haven't got a stinking clue. I don't understand the story thing. But, there's, um, you know, from using stories on other platforms, this would be my guess. Just the funny thing was, obviously, I recorded their messages. And then can I work out how to delete them? Can I balls? So they're just on there for, like, 24 hours or whenever. <laughs> just mm. like, <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Like, I wonder how many accounts are out there where people, like, do that, like, just balls it up and then can't work out how to delete it. <laughs> quite a few i would imagine <laughs> people like us who can't just can't get their heads around it yeah so one of them i was looking at um i don't know if your f- social media feed has been like this this week full of pictures of the bloody sky oh yeah oh i can see the northern lights and um it's pretty awesome it is but it's kind of like it's like when people film fireworks and put them on the internet. No, it's not. It's not like that. Because the Northern Lights are not typically visible in the UK, like to the extent that they were. 
No, so, but a picture doesn't do it justice, the same as seeing it in person. I mean, you say that, but I think a lot of people were actually seeing it better through their camera lens than they actually were with their own eyes, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, because it's um, low light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put it, put but, your camera in um, low light, light mode and it'll exaggerate what you see. Yeah. I mean, I'm not upset per se that people are doing it, but I'm upset that I'm constantly reminded that both nights I missed it. That, that you... <laughs> is what's pissing me off. I didn't get to see it. I and didn't I, see it. I would have loved to. Oh, that makes me feel a little bit better. Have you have you yeah. had some nice weather? Have you enjoyed your summer? So, yes, <laughs> so we've had it now. Um, Feels like do you it. know what? Do you know what? To, apparently, first thing this morning, it rained, but it's been glorious sunshine all day. The rest oh, of the day. you lucky sod. It's it's overcast a bit now. <clears throat> and yet yesterday we had the most horrendous rain for most of the day. And then in the afternoon, it was fine. But I'm, I'm very grateful that it's not been as bad as I thought. Because... Well, here it's just been overcast and showers. We had one nice day. One nice... Oh, I'm sorry. But I, still oh. was, I was working and I still managed to go and get sunburnt. Because so I was determined. Had... I went and sat in the garden with my top off doing my job. Well, why not? Exactly. Why not? As you should, sir. You are British. At the moment the sun peaks its face around the corner, you've got to go out and get in it, haven't you? It's exactly. just It'd be rude not the to. law. It would. I mean, Holly came round on Saturday evening and she has drumstick legs. Okay. You know, like <laughs> yeah. the drumstick squashies. Yeah. yeah. Her legs <laughs> look like that. They were pure white above the short line dear of her anyway she ended up uh <laughs> leaving a touch early because her legs hurt so much oh no <laughs> oh god and then and then I, I i was three sheets to the wind and uh i my internet had gone down so i couldn't watch eurovision oh no fuming fuming that was oh, the whole plan I, I did watch eurovision was it good um there was actually some good acts but i think they're all at the start Okay. They were saying, oh, yeah, the good acts are all towards the end. I was like, no, actually, there's some good ones at the start. Uh, okay. And there was, as as ever, there was the usual shite in there as well. Of course, of course. And then the whole voting process was the biggest load of bollocks as well. Oh, I've heard about yes. it. I have been told, yes, yeah. not good. Just... Uh, but, yeah, so that evening did not go according to plan whatsoever. I'm fuming I missed it. That was. I plan. was wondering... So, you might know the mm. answers to this because I didn't get the answer from anyone at the time. Mm. When we hosted Eurovision, were you not able yeah. to vote for free on the app? No idea. I'm sure you were. Probably. But I've not found anyone to confirm my thoughts, but I'm absolutely positive one year yeah. there was the ability to vote for free through the app. I, I've never felt the need to vote. Have you not? It feels kind of no. pointless, doesn't it? Because it drags on for like ages going and getting the judges votes and then yeah they just they just fly through the rest of the world thing just like and and you know when you get halfway through it's pretty clear who's likely to win well who, who, yeah well who, you kind of whistle it down to like two or three say don't you and then yeah. you know you uk gets a nil point and then we're just kind of like oh okay well we're we'll just we're we'll just sat here this side of the board then it takes all the fun out of it it's like what's we'll the point in watching the rest ourselves. yeah i yeah, know yeah it is, it is a bit frustrating. It's very political. I know they say it's not, but it definitely <laughs> is. Our songs aren't that bad. Well, not always that bad, I should say. I mean, to be fair, so, our um, act was a, was a bit over the top. But there again, I didn't rate the winning act either. I thought there was better acts. Fair enough. I can't comment. I, I, did, not I, see, I did. did you not see it? Oh, yeah, no, you just said the internet weren't working. No, you I didn't have watch to, your I don't have a... I don't have work it. No, I can't be asked for that. What's the point? <laughs> the whole point was to sit there and drink with Holly and watch it and text my family in the group chat that they set up for Eurovision. And the fact that I couldn't do that makes it pointless. Um, no, what I ended up doing was sat there very in the in the quiet after Holly went home, um, and I I messaged my mate to come round and we got absolutely hammered. And um, I felt quite worse for wear at the end of it. But I just want to give him a shout out. He's sat in A&E now. Oh, dear. Why? Was that your doing, by any chance? I did not. 
I tell you what, <laughs> I'm not surprised. I am only surprised it didn't happen sooner because the state he was in Saturday night. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, he's, he's Philip not I felt very well in his chest today. Um, oh dear, which was a bit alarming. And one 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 sent him to any. So he sat in there in a moment. So shout out to you, Adam. Yeah, get um, well soon. Get well soon, and. Uh, we look forward to hearing all about your experience uh, in the feedback next week. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Just volunteering you for that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to, but we, but but you should. Um, <laughs> you don't have to, so, but if you don't, you you're should. going to hell. <laughs> but yeah, if, if you don't, Wikipedia shall damn you. We are qualified to damn people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> God. And then, so I felt rough. Sunday was a write off total. Yeah. You know, I, I was not well Sunday. I felt, I felt pretty under the weather. Monday, my parents came around in the morning and dropped their dog off. So I've got their dog here along with my dog. Okay. It's a little bit chaotic because he's, he's an old man and he just wants to be left alone. Uh, and my dog is young and stupid and irritating and wants to constantly play with him. Yeah. <laughs> he's not interested. <laughs> The other slight problem, I mean, he's so lovely to have. He really is nice to have here. But um, he is very particular about where he would like to use the bathroom. OK, um, and I do understand snob. this. Yeah, he's a total bathroom snob. And I have to admit that my, you know, doggy bathroom facilities are quite cramped. It's, I like, have a very... it's like when you're kids, you know, when you're kids and you're you have your friends round from the uh, other house on the road and they're like, I've got to go home and need the toilet. That's smart, that is. That's what right. we should all be doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're scared of someone, oh, this, scared of someone else's is, toilet. You know? uh, <laughs> toilet there's, nothing, there's nothing like your own toilet at home, is there? <laughs> that, there's comfort in that. There really is. Look, I can't do turning bikes around in public loos except, except the one exception being the airport that day <laughs> that, <laughs> obviously as as you know longer term listeners will understand but um i think when you go to an airport you kind of do you watch what you eat beforehand no do you not i, I kind of do because no. i that would be like my worst nightmare to have like a, yeah a, a bit of a bad tum while being on a plane yeah. I, can't oh, I don't watch worse. what i eat the problem with my tummy is and all the problems i have with it is that it, it's not so much what I eat that will cause it. It's sometimes when I eat it will get be bad, and sometimes when I eat it will not be bad, and there is no rhyme or reason to it. So I just, you know, whatever, not not don't worry about it too much. Uh, deal with it at the time. But uh, I do watch what I drink because I don't want to be peeing constantly. Yeah, That's my that as well. I was <laughs> yeah, to, like everything yeah. consume. Although I did saying have that, to... I do tend to sink a couple of pints in the airport bar first. It's only right isn't it it's just you have to even if it's six uh, in the anyway, morning you gotta have a pint with yes breakfast. exactly exactly um so anyway yes so we've got uh monty staying with us my parents dog lovely lovely black uh working cocker spaniel absolutely gorgeous boy uh but he won't go and do anything in my back garden so about six times a day <laughs> He okay. has to go out and round the block. Luckily, I found a bush that he likes. Oh, that's... <laughs> a... yeah. It's got Monty's seal of approval on it several times now. Um, Monty. So we... Monty, that... yeah. <laughs> yes, who, name, chose, yeah. Who chose that name? Uh, well, my parents. Yeah, which, come on, one of them must have picked it first. Probably mum. Yeah, we'll go for Monty. Monty. Montgomery. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lovely Classy. boy. He suits Classy his Classy name. name. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Um, so, yes. Uh, but I have to say, we've had him now for a day and a half. Yeah. And he's not done a number two yet. Okay. Lovely. I'm he's, so he's... glad we're getting these ins and outs. Well, at what point is oh, he going to... Oh, not gonna... even outs then. <laughs> What Just, point is he going to give it up and turn his bike around in front of us? You know, he's going to have to at some point. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm terrified I'm going to come down one morning and find a big steamer in the middle of the <laughs> room. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He really doesn't want to go outside. <laughs> he really doesn't. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. So, yes, uh, we've we've got our house guests. I've had my hands really full today. 
It all started, I came downstairs this morning and one of the axolotls was floating and on its side. I thought it was dead. Oh dear. I, I, I mean, I think it's actually all right. I was a bit concerned to start off with. I think it's what it's done is it's eaten too much. Okay. Uh, as they sometimes do. And maybe swallowed a bit of air at the same time and uh, it's made him float <laughs> but normally they don't go on their side so i was a bit concerned anyway so i've tubbed him separately and put him in like honestly a centimeter of water because he was freaking out that he couldn't they like to put their feet on the floor they th that yeah. makes them feel secure but if they can't if they're buoyant and they can't do that it makes them freak out so i think what had happened was he'd worn himself out trying to go down to the bottom and not been yeah. able to stay there so he's he's in a little tub on his own with just a tiny bit of water <laughs> poor little thing and then <laughs> and then i had a kilogram of worms arrive in the post which is fantastic but i was expecting them tomorrow um and so and the wormery is supposed to come tomorrow but i don't have the wormery and actually i check the tracking for the wormery earlier and it was still in france this morning so i'm not sure it's going to be here tomorrow <laughs> actually so then we had to do a mercy dash to go and find uh, a suitably sized plastic tub that can be a, a temporary house for the worms to live in because they just arrived in this very small like tarp bag um so yes i've i've literally just finished breaking up a coco coir brick for them so that they've got something to to go in and i don't have anything to feed them except cardboard which thankfully is a perfectly viable food source for them. <laughs> oh that's good <laughs> well, so yes i've had all the animals are driving me a little bit mad the snakes are good they're well behaved <laughs> everything else oh god and jumping through hoops but yes yes it, it feels like noah's ark in here at the moment <laughs> <laughs> it really does <laughs> Oh, he's keeping you busy then. Always keeping me busy, yeah. And can we just give a shout out to HMRC? Yeah, for if you want, we can big them up. Being no, no, for being a bunch of arseholes. <laughs> okay, not we'll happy that. with them. I'm not going into it, but I'm not happy with you. All right, fed up, fed up with your crap. Right, there we go. That's it. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> oh dear i'm sure there was something i was gonna tell oh yeah no it's all right it's, it's not no what no no I, I thought there was something i was going to tell you there was some you know when you think i must remember to talk about that and well then, i wrote yeah. it in the prep it's not yeah it's fine it's oh okay not something, I, not something i had to remember after all it's it's all good it's that's all good. good um oh that's what i was going to mention the co-op arena at time, oh, of, yes. at time of airing, it might have held its first gig. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Um, so tonight, uh, as we're recording today, um, it's looking like the first gig is going to go ahead tonight. <gasps> oh, uh, my goodness. So that means the first act is going to be Elbow. Never heard of it. Which is them. a Manchester band. I believe they're okay. being supported by Forearm. In hand <laughs> <laughs> i would have thought they'd be supported more by shoulder and torso but okay. yeah probably <laughs> <laughs> no because that implies they're bigger than it bigger than them then well yeah but i've never i mean that it's a bit backwards isn't it otherwise yeah uh so yeah artists that have had their <laughs> their acts cancelled Where's the list gone? There was a list of quite a few um, artists who have sadly had their gigs like postponed. One oh, got dear. it cancelled ten minutes before, you know, before actually it should begin. Um, yeah, Peter K's been was affected. Black Keys, whoever they are. Um, yeah, there was more. But the funny thing is, I was reading this. I didn't know the reason that that one got postponed ten minutes before it started. Apparently. Right. Um, a ventilation filter fell from the ceiling. Oh! After doing the sound check before <laughs> for letting people in, I mean, it could oh, be much worse if they let people in. Uh, this is concerning. Yeah. Apparently, there's 97 of these air filters, and one wasn't built in, and it happened to fall in the small gap between doing the sound check and filling the arena full of people. Right. So they are very fortunate it fell down when it did. 
But then well, they obviously yeah. had to cancel the whole thing and then go and check the other 96 filters were all bolted oh, incorrectly. Oh, my God. I bet someone got a bollocking for leaving that bugger out. Apparently, that's how they were shipped from Germany or something like that. So we'll blame the Germans for it. We're blaming the Germans for for something falling I think it was to do with okay. it assembled. I thought I think it was meant to all be like pre-assembled. But then, oh, surely okay. if it's an air filter, you should be expected to change the filter at some point. So someone should have been well. aware. You know, at some point we're going to have to access these and change the filters. Surely. Well, you'd think, you'd think, but uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't really comment without. Yeah, I don't know. Anything I'm, about I'm it. not. I'm not an air filter expert or an air conditioning expert, or an arena building expert, but I do find the entire situation rather comical. Yes, definitely. Oh, my God. So how long has it been since it was meant to be opened now? Pfft. Start of last month, I think it was. <laughs> 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 the arena has taken five years to build following delays in construction that were partly due to Brexit, COVID, and the Manchester weather. <laughs> well, no, oh, there you no, go. no shit you built it in manchester and wondered why it kept raining yeah well yeah that's a bit of an oversight isn't yeah. It? <laughs> yeah it is it's yeah britain's rainy city oh dear well i'll tell you what i was sent something by yes. andy and i'm gonna send it to you i thought we'd have a because i I don't know. It just feels like an interesting topic of fact. <laughs> okay. Is this is this for me to play out the audio? Yes, please. Yeah, I've sent okay. it to you yes. in WhatsApp. Okay. And uh, yeah, this so this was sent in by Andy. I, I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before. It's all merging into one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought <laughs> yeah, was, we'll it was play sent that in during the duration, time. and we're looking after this dog that I have to walk six times a day. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, let's see what you've sent, Andy. Let's put the sound up and press play. Do you know the reason why the first webcam was created? I just learned about this the other day and it made me laugh so much. The reason why the webcam was created was so that scientists could check the level of the coffee pot in the hallway outside the lab. Students and scientists at Cambridge got sick of walking out into the hall just to find the coffee pot to be empty. So in order to not waste trips, they set up this webcam of this 129 by 129 pixel camera that took one frame per second to monitor the level of the coffee pot. There it is. That's the coffee pot. This webcam. There you go. <laughs> so that predated the internet and lasted until 2001 when the lab finally moved. Okay. Um. Does does that surprise you? I mean, I don't think webcams are used that for that so much anymore. No, not so much. <clears throat> no. I mean, I don't. Well, I do have a webcam, but it's hidden by the little clip that holds my microphone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I've never ever once used this webcam on my laptop. So. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, obviously, for work every day, I have a <clears throat> a, a team meet, so yes. mine's always on. People can always see me. Um, yes, but yeah, that that original one doesn't look the best quality, but it does predate the internet. That's a very old coffee pot. Yeah, and that is I mean, kind of just <laughs> born out of laziness, and I love it. I'm here for that. <laughs> yeah, um, that, well, that's the thing, isn't it? But it's kind of like if I can just imagine it being oh. The coffee pot's empty. Well, I'm not being the one to fill it up this time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't invent something to to deal with that issue. Yeah, no, that's like that's that's the issue they should have gone for, the auto filling coffee pot, I feel. Exactly. And then they wouldn't have needed to invent the webcam because every time you came to it it'd be full. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I've actually just had something sent in just now okay. by another by another Adam. Now okay. I, there are literally I've got three Adams on Saturday night. I had one, two in the room with me, and one on the phone all at once. It felt like some sort of paradox. It was <laughs> a little bit weird. Um, but yes, he sent me um, an article here: uh, King's Medal for Twin who fought cro uh, crocodile off sister. So, a woman who saved her twin sister from a crocodile attack by punching it will receive a King's Gallantry Medal. Oh, that's nice. 
Okay. So yeah, Georgia Laurie, 31 from Sandhurst, repeatedly hit the reptile in the face after it attacked Melissa while they were swimming in Mexico in June 2021. Oh my God. The twins were treated in hospital where Melissa developed sepsis uh, and was put into a medically induced coma. Oh, well, that got a bit deep. Yeah, please. Um, Georgia said, I feel really privileged. It's a silver lining to have come out of this terrible ordeal. Wow. I mean, yeah, that's... I'd rather not be in the ordeal than... Of course, yeah. I I, mean, I don't want to be face to face with the crocodile. Having to punch it. No, but I'd like to think my sister would punch it for me. I mean, I think that is that has got to be like your level of of judgment on who's got your back. You, do you know that such and such would punch a crocodile for you? Yeah, that's that's it, isn't that's it? That's what the, it needs. Yeah, yeah. that's how, what it how, boils how you rate to. people's friendship and. Yeah, it's not about whether they take a bullet for you. That's that's nothing. But would you punch a crocodile in the face for them? That's that's real love, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> oh, Thank you very much, Adam, for sending that in. Other Adam, <laughs> uh, my my <laughs> one of my friends said we need to differentiate between the Adams. This is really hard. So we've got we've got Adam, Adam. Other Adam and Fit Adam. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> there's no, there's no other way. There's no other way. Or just, just give them a whole new name. What, like George? Yeah, George or Jeff or anything. Yeah, like I did with Alex. Just call him Hubert. Yeah, no, well, there you go. Give a completely different name, then you know which one's which. I don't know. I, th- I think I can manage Adam, Adam, other Adam, and fit Adam. You had to think about that then. That's three things I had to think about <laughs> in one go. It's really <laughs> difficult, even though they are technically the same thing. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I think we better have a bit of feedback before before we get carried away, because I have got some here. Oh, have we? Oh, excellent. Yeah, go for it. Oh, yes. So we've got uh, from my mother. She has said she just wants to apologise for the poor English in her comment last week. She said the feedback form was difficult to read and I couldn't read it back to check for mistakes, but I could see them on the automated reply. Ugh, feeling grammatically challenged. (laughs) (laughs) It's all right, Mum. I understood everything perfectly. Yeah, we'll let you off. We're used to reading TikTok. If you can read that, (laughs) then I think you can read anything. (laughs) Oh, some of the stuff you scroll is just ridiculous. Oh, God, yeah. And then we have Andy. Uh, He's put, this is feedback for episode latest one. Um, That's specific. Yeah. Latest one. Using the term, yeah, I think he can recall the number because normally he would say the number. (laughs) I know. That's what he got. Using the term we eat or ate instead of slay is stupid. Slay sounds so much better. It sounds like you fought against that. Fought against that was a challenge. Yeah. Uh, and won, opposed to doing something that you do to survive. Uh, well, might as well. Sorry, this is me. I'm read. I'm so dyslexic today. Might as well say we drank or we breathed. Yeah, you, and then just, you just do that every day anyway. Exactly. And he's got on to say, I will never understand runway fashion because I swear 99.9% of the time it's something that would never, ever be practical in any sense. I swear I've seen people wearing literal bin bags and they're all there acting like it's their best thing since sliced bread. I swear sometimes i wonder if it's just a form of fancy money laundering because yeah. someone's <laughs> buying this and then andy went on to say and now i want to annoy the millennial the game you just lost it <laughs> that is cruel andy because th- th- yeah that's cruel god who knows Maybe. people might be listening in years and years time and um, they- we've just ended their game I hope so. <laughs> well, no, it's not us. We didn't do it. That's all on Andy. You read it out. Of course I did. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I had to. It was feedback. What else was I going to do? <laughs> the game. Our top feedbacker. Oh, well, oh, let's dear. start a new game. Okay, there we go. We started a new one. Started a new yeah, one. Yes, so you're not yeah. out. You're not out of it. Okay. <laughs> right. Sure. That was good um, feedback anyway. I enjoyed that. Yeah, really good. Really, and really good. And I do good. think the word slay should slay on. Eh, I'm over it myself, but... Like yeah. Eight <laughs> isn't a replacement for it. I'm sorry. No, I agree. I completely agree. I, yeah. Um, so, obviously, we have talked for the last couple of weeks about baby reindeer, yes, haven't we? Yes, we have. And we did touch upon it last week that we had found the Facebook page of the actual uh, Martha, which yep. I think we can very now safely reveal yeah. her name <laughs> to be Fiona Harvey. Yes. Because she last week did an interview with Piers Morgan, uh, telling her side of things and setting the record straight, or did she? <laughs> because I'm really interested to hear what you thought of it, Steve. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> it was interesting because <laughs> you know she went on there, and he's obviously he's he is he's a good interviewer isn't he really he actually was yeah i don't really like him but i thought he was very good there i have mixed opinions on him and but i think he can kind of he knows how to word a question in various different ways so you can see if the answer is any different um and what stood out to me most was the fact she claimed she had a photographic memory yes but then when (laughs) she was asked about how well she did you know with her grades for her law um qualifications and she's oh can't remember that it's a long time ago yeah i've had a photographic memory i i aced all my exams in school but in my degree i just did all right right. did all right i did all right and then she kept trying to to deflect to something else and it was just a bit right i mean that wasn't the only way she tripped herself up was it but no, definitely quite a lot of one ways. of the funnier ones there were there were so, um i'm trying to think now so it's quite interesting I've, I've opened up her page to see what she posted most recently and she oh, hasn't posted I... since the 10th been oh that was only days. the other day yeah but it's been I... four days that post and considering she posts a lot so well, she posted things... peers what well, one... sorry go on well, one of the things she said on that interview was she'd taken herself off Facebook as yes. of to earlier that day. Yeah, <laughs> so... but she ah uh, yeah, but she's obviously I don't it might have been pre recorded, so it might have been she Oh no, because it was when she spoke to him she said it did it earlier the day. Yeah. Yeah. So how yeah. is she talking about it in oh never mind. But she said she put uh peers were more interested in my uni grades, do you th- did you think? Well, yeah, but you didn't answer the yeah. question. Exactly. Gad and Netflix lied about me going to prison. All convictions are in public domain. I'm sure all these wee journalists, including peers, would have found these by now. Gad is a liar. And to be fair, I think I've seen yeah. something since, and Gad doesn't know whether she got convicted of anything or not. Okay. Because apparently he didn't go or something. Um, she thought Piers thinks he's a person of authority demanding I do a lie detector test for emails. I didn't email, I didn't murder anyone. He didn't demand she did a lie detector test. No, not he, at all. He merely suggested it if she wanted to prove her innocence. He asked if she would be prepared to do one. Yeah, not demanding. But I think a lot can be said about how someone perceives the question she perceived that as an attack even though it wasn't one wasn't one because she's guilty because she knows she's talking shit yeah do you want do you want to know the last yeah. post that she posted before oh she yes was... please okay if i have mental issues like the world has painted space full stop me it's full stop <laughs> 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 Why are you so-called same people buying into the media Netflix exploiting vulnerable people who have no media training? No kind of grammatic, grammatical thing at the end there, just straight on to the next um, line. Never been in front of a studio camera in my life, full stop. Why are so many people profiting off me, full stop? It is absolutely sickening, and you so-called normal sane people are enabling the circus. 
once again, <laughs> nothing at the end of that sentence. But the irony is, you label me the mental one. <laughs> once again, we're losing the grammar. Um, because there's nothing after that. Shame on you, your parents, and how you was raised. I thought it was should be were raised, but I'm not being picky. Because only mentally ill people <laughs> would entertain this and profit off me. It's true what they say. Most people these days have no education. Kids are raised by TikTok and aisle-fitting parents who'll allow their kids to watch anything. <laughs> the irony, honestly, of her complaining that no one has an education. <laughs> I mean, she can't even remember her grades. So, yeah. I mean, there's that. Um, yeah. I mean, the, another thing that she said um, was that she couldn't possibly have been the Martha from the story because none of it, none of what they said was true. And then later on, now, she, you know, obviously in the next breath, she says that um, they're profiting off of her and she's going to sue them. Yeah. Well, which one is it? <laughs> Are you Martha? Or, you know, is it's, yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Because she said she sent some emails, but not 40,000. Yes. yes. And then she kind of said she never rang him up. But she might have yeah. left one, one or two voicemails. Yeah. So how did you leave a voice, voicemail if you didn't ring him up? Exactly. There was nothing consistent about no. that interview at all, <laughs> except the fact that she was talking shit. And <laughs> and she's never sent a letter. However, she might have sent him a letter at one point. Oh, yeah. And the fact the whole thing was made up and they, you know, demonised her and she's not the person, blah, blah, blah. Um, but she admitted that she was in love with him at one point. Oh, did she? Did she not? Or did I just oh, dream I that bit? I think you might have dreamt, dreamt that bit. Because uh, he did ask her if if she was in love with him. And she said, Piers, is that a, is that a, is that a sensible question? Or is that a real question? Of course not. Oh, I, you see, you know better than me. No, I've watched it a couple of times, actually. <laughs> I, thought, <laughs> I thought I'd seen a sitcom <laughs> clip where she admitted to it, but maybe that was maybe that was fake news. Uh, I'm not sure now. Now I'm questioning it. But I do remember that being asked and I do remember her answering that, unless it was mentioned at another time in the interview. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, she's she's outright saying that Gad is psych psychopathic. Yeah, I, I don't understand <laughs> um, why she had an issue with saying, because she said her boyfriend's a lawyer. And he yes. said, oh, is he a lawyer in London? And she was like... I'm not telling you where he is. Like, it's the biggest secret in the yeah. world. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where he is. <laughs> oh, well, okay. <laughs> it's just a question. It's just a harmless question. Why are you being so... Very defensive. Very defensive. Um, yes, it was, it was a really interesting watch, it must be said. And, um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'd be interested to know if other people have watched it as well. Um, and what they think about it, because um, I don't know, there are a lot of people out there who are very upset. And I do agree to an extent that she hasn't been better. Her identity hasn't been better protected uh, because she was so easy to find. Um, and I do think that that might have been a bit of an oversight by Netflix. I don't think that's I don't know. No, but they made sure there was nothing in there that's enough. Well, the thing is that she was found within minutes by somebody who took the texts and ran them through Google. And you know the thing about hanging her curtains? Yeah. That was the one <laughs> that she had posted <laughs> on her uh, Twitter or X account. And um, that's how they found her. Yeah, but, I mean, but that's the thing. If you try and think of a tweet that you sent 15, 20 years ago, it's probably still there. Yeah somewhere yeah in the abyss yeah. <clears throat> and in fact this came up as um in a in a conversation about you know what kind of thing is acceptable so like when say someone wrote a tweet that wasn't very nice like 15 years ago maybe yeah. they were a kid or something like say you wrote something you were you know 12 or something okay you know a couple of years ago um yes <laughs> then <laughs> then say an employer you know used something to go through your social media and look at historic stuff and then you tried to use it against you 
I think that's you know, ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, how... Because you starting to see this in celebrities now, aren't you? Because it's quite possible to have an account for that long. Yeah. Um, and you, you, you can't remember everything you posted. Could you imagine if it's like... <sighs> You know, prime examples like, you know, Donald Trump, he's probably tweeted all kinds of stuff. And, yeah. Uh, and and, uh, and kind of contradicted it or changed your mind as time goes on. And But yeah. it's almost like society doesn't like to change your mind. So if you say something that's, you know, could be like, you know, sexist or whatever, yeah, down the line, someone sees that and they'll go, oh, that's their opinions, blah, blah, blah. Not actually realising that, you know, you can yeah. mature and change opinions and things like that. Yeah, I agree. I think that is definitely the case. And I think especially the example you gave, you know, if you were like 12 or something, I think if you were literally classed as a child, inadmissible. Like, you cannot use that. They were they were not of age. <laughs> you know, they're too immature to even be thinking. But I do think it does raise something of a concern, is that there is a footprint. You, you are leaving a footprint on the internet. And I think generation z and below need to really be a bit more aware about what they're posting on the internet and and the implications that could have um because i think people do especially youngsters they they will put their whole life on the internet i think nothing of it and it's it's so easy for they'll have very documented lives aren't they very much so, yeah. I think, you know, yeah, there needs to be more emphasis on internet safety again, in all honesty. <laughs> and just that emphasis of the footprint that you leave. It, it, it Once it's there, it stays there. Yeah. So, with coming back to the Fiona Harvey thing. Yes. Do you think the story, having seen the interview and seen the programme... Do you think maybe this mm-hmm. Netflix kind of exacerbated it? Well, it blew it up and made it more than it was for um, the sake of storytelling. I think it happens with almost any thing that is dramatized for television. I think that's normal and it doesn't have to be word for word gospel as Fiona Harvey was saying it has to be. It doesn't. And it is for entertainment, uh, but they do have to say it's based on true events. They don't, ha- but saying it's based on means that there is artistic license used there. So yeah, uh, whilst I think it tried to be as accurate as possible, I think they probably did embellish in certain areas and whatnot. Um, for the sake of entertainment and that's really normal and i did have a thought because you know she wants to sue for de- defamation yeah but i mean do you see the royal family kicking off because they've made a dramatization of the crown well, um, I mean, they don't which, they don't like the crown do they well they don't no but i mean <laughs> are, are they bringing in the lawyers because i mean if anyone has the means to do that it's them yeah <laughs> You know, but that, the I think thing the royal family kind of know they, that, they exactly, can't really then, get away with it because exactly because it, it it's taking true events and dramatizing it and making it you know trying to make up the bits you don't know that's yeah. quite normal. I know Richard Gad obviously was there and and all the rest of it, but it's very normal to have a bit of artistic license when making shows for TV. So. I mean, I also, it can't be defamation because it's not her. It's not about her. Well, there you go. That's what she you said, see? isn't it? It's one exactly. or the other. Is it about you, love, or is it not about you? Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, I think there's also a lot of things she said that were just a bit petty. Like, um, uh, you know, he, he asked her if she was ever given a free drink. And she said, oh, you don't get free drinks in there. She also disclosed the name of the pub that he worked at, which I obviously appreciate he doesn't now, but I think that was probably a bit hang on, hang unnecessary. On. Five days ago, Gad stayed at a pub. He only worked one or two days a week, paid cash in hand. He says he was stalked so bad his lift space E was ruined, but he never left the pub and he can not Constansley gave me free drinks. Yes. Yeah. 
So I'm going to assume she go. means constantly gave me free drinks. Yes. Not constantly. I don't know what constantly means. But even in the first bit of that post, she says that she paid cash in hand. So which is it? No, he paid cash. He, oh, oh, he. I'm guessing cash. he was paid cash in hand. Oh, I see. Sorry. Okay. Right. Okay. Misunderstood that. But yeah, and and you know, on the interview, she said that she was never given anything for free. You don't get free drinks in whatever pub it was. And how does she know he what days he was in there? How does she know he never left? It, was he only there two days a week, or did he never leave? Which one are we going with? <laughs> <laughs> but you seem she seems to be quite aware, uh, in either direction of his whereabouts during that time. And you know, I think she's not. She's she's going too defensive and not realising how it comes across. I don't think she's actually anywhere near as intelligent as they sort of made her out to be, in fact. Um, going off, you know, things that the contradicting things that we're seeing all over the place. No, I, mean, I don't think she's that that Yeah, a good a good liar needs would know to stick to the story. Yeah. <laughs> Even bad liars know to stick to the story <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> so yeah yeah it's not good is it no um but I, it's given us entertainment mm -hmm. it's and, been fantastic you know it might have made richard gad a bit more famous well at least he, he doesn't have to do shit comedy anymore well, yeah i mean he's already done like tv stuff before mm -hmm. so this is obviously his first time writing like a full-on like series yeah, <clears throat> yeah. so did it? Yeah. Did I like his comedy? No, his comedy was crap. I looked at some of his comedy that was posted online, and it was terrible. Oh really? Oh really? Okay. Just not funny. Was it anything like the stuff they showed you in the show? Yeah, exactly like that. Oh, okay. That well, that's good. At least he kept that quite, quite faithful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just went up. But yeah, held his hands up. Yeah, I'm a shit comedian. Yeah, I like that. I think he's the thing is, is that's the other thing about the show is I don't think he tried to portray her as an awful person. I think he was just trying to be factual. And I think um, he was also portraying himself as, you know, he, he said in himself, you know, I, I've encouraged it. I wanted the attention at times. And, you know, I have made a rod for my own back in some senses. Like, I've made it worse. And you know, he had the drug problem and things like that. He's not painted himself as some angel. And I think, you know, it gives him so much more credibility that he has done that. I, I fully, fully believe him over her any day. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Oh, God, I've got a million notifications. <clears throat> oh, someone's popular. No, it's freaking... That was... um. Oh, what you call it? Vinted. So, oh, hang on. It's been, sorry, something I've been watching for a while has been discounted. Oh, By how much? Go. Oh, not enough. <laughs> no, discounted, but not it. enough. I'm poor because HMRC hate me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, did you watch the end of Clarkson's Farm? I have. I've watched the whole thing. I Yeah, me too. I can't help it, can you? So, Look, what do you I think? Ask? Go on. Well, I, I need to know because I feel like you're a bit more stoic than many okay but the episode with all the little piggies dying were you crying too i wasn't crying but i did think it was sad and that's that's what i said oh, oh. you'll know when you get to that one i was a fucking mess I'm in that episode. um but yeah. As we got to the end of the last the most recent series this spoiler yes. if anyone is still watching it if you are still watching it and you haven't seen the second half of series three skip forward a minute or two because we're gonna give all the spoilers now <laughs> yeah um that invention he came up with for the piggly was really good yes really? it was so, so something good came out of that he came up you know spoke to the designers and then piggly's um yes which is their little houses and you know they came up with the idea of putting this bar inside so the pigs could run yeah. around behind rather than getting it was squashed. genius and it yeah, dramatically it reduced genius. the amount of piglets dying which is fantastic it did it did and uh he's he well, he's inundated with them now isn't he? he's got so many yeah. and i think the the best part this is another bit that made me a little bit emotional was when he got his 
uh, appeal results back. Yes. So I, this is a massive spoiler. If you have not watched series three, part two, skip ahead two minutes, right? Because we're going to talk <laughs> about this a sec. We 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 saw him open the letter and it sat, it looked like it was going to be bad news. Even Lisa was like, oh, my God, what's happened? What's happened? Um, and yeah, so it's everything that everything the council have said no to has now been overturned. So he can have a restaurant. Yeah. He can he just have, can't have the one in the middle of the field, but he can have that the one. one. In the middle of the field. But the one he originally wanted, he can have. Yeah. He can have his shop. He can have the cafe. Um, he can have his farm track, which was, I mean, it just shows, it proves that the council just didn't like him and uh, they would have done anything to to just shit on his day. But yeah, he did the right yeah, thing. Got, he got there in it. the end, definitely. Yeah, and it's it's a big fuck you to the council, I think, yeah. <laughs> and um, I think it's it's bad that they sort of abuse their position, really, it is, to isn't that it? degree. It does feel like there is definitely that going on. You definitely, know. and I just I think such a shame because he really wanted to help uh, his his neighbouring farmers in the area uh, because he's he, you know he's admitted I've got other sources of income this. This doesn't matter to me like it does some people, um, you know, who who really rely on this. And and you know, he's spoken to other farmers in this series, and you've seen that he really wants to help. Um, and yeah, so maybe maybe next season we'll see the restaurant uh, yeah. in the original spot, maybe, um, and then maybe you know he can source his food from the farmers <laughs> like he originally wanted to. That would be really cool to see. I'm excited. I do you know I I I've really hated him. I really hated <laughs> him. <laughs> I'm so annoyed that I don't hate him anymore. Um, I think you know yeah, you see a different side to him, and I think he's almost changed a little bit himself i think um he's learned a lot and it's it's good to sort of put him in quite a humbling position really yeah he's, he's definitely he's but the i think he he's learned a lot in the last few years yes. and yes. it's been a journey for him and it kind of feels yeah. like we've been on that journey with him yeah definitely and i think gone from thinking oh this will be a piece of piss to actually oh this is actually not not that straightforward fucking hard you don't make any fucking money yeah. and i don't understand how people survive like this and yeah and it's i think it's been fantastic and just ra raising so much awareness for british farmers as well yeah which <clears throat> which is a great thing yes definitely definitely so go to your local farm <laughs> shop and and now you can understand why the prices are so high in your yeah. local farm shop <laughs> But it's worth it. Just buy something. Just buy a jar of jam. Don't you don't have to do oh, weekly we'll shop there. But you notice the difference with things like bacon and whatnot. Oh, the you quality do. Quality is so much. So oh, much honestly, my parents. Stuff. My parents buy all their meat from a local butcher, and it is the best yeah. ever. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. My mouth oh, is watering but now. Buttons does the best sausage. <laughs> oh, oh my god. It's so meaty and big and yeah. oh, <laughs> juicy. And he puts all the herbs in and it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> you got me hungry now. <laughs> oh, I mean, I've just eaten. Oh, man, we've got no food in. I, this is so sad, honestly. My finances are a bit of a mess because I did a miscalculation yeah. on what date i get paid okay <laughs> so i thought i got paid next week but yeah. i don't it's the week after well next week is my daughter's birthday and we're having two supposedly two parties people aren't really getting back to me on that and that's worrying you um, might not have any party then you could just have a well i've got yourself. one person I've got out of six, yeah. I've got one person confirmed and one person politely declined. Um, and the other four, one of which we kind of know as well, uh, the other four, just nothing. And I just think, well, WTF, guys, we need to know. And the thing is, and people will say, just because they haven't responded doesn't mean they're not coming. In fact, you know, I would, I would say might... it does. Well, I would say it does, but I, people... I would always, if I was going to go to one, I would always notify first. 
Yeah, you should. You yeah, absolutely. But but not everybody does. And then you end up with like a bunch more kids than you expected. And uh well, I think I've said to Luella, I said if they don't get in touch and you need to rustle them up and, and give them a poke and tell them if they don't, I'm not inviting those ones again because <laughs> that i can't be asked it's nice this to is... know either way isn't it it is and the thing is is i have actually bought party bags for six oh, so okay. i've got all the oh, stuff well, you are I'm organized like... then I, it's the kind of thing i just leave it till the day well thank god i didn't because i got no freaking money i'm saving <laughs> my money until next week so i can buy party food i lit i've i've got no money it's really bad um i'm in the same boat. so yeah <laughs> but i have well. i've I've got a hundred quid in my back. Oh God, it's depressing going through the finances. Early. Anyway, let's not, let's not talk about it. <laughs> really stressful. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? Yeah. So I, I'd like her to have six people over because I've got the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if she doesn't, I suppose I don't have to fork out on um, so much food. Yeah. I guess. That'd be a bit sad, won't it? Oh, well, we'll see what happens. At least one person is coming on the actual day. That's the most important sort of thing. <laughs> Have we got time for a BuzzFeed? Oh, please. I, like I, was, so. I was thinking, it's been a while since we've done something like this. Yeah. Um, and I'd quite like to know what my what fear is eating me up inside. Oh, I'm scared of everything, though. <laughs> but BuzzFeed will clear this up for me. I know they will. I'll understand myself so much better after so this. So okay. this is Eat the Biggest Midnight Feast. And I'll accurately oh. guess what fear is eating up inside. I'm hungry now. Okay, okay. Have, have you got it? Yeah. Man, this is... I'm ready. I'm absolutely starving today, and this, this isn't going to help me. Um, oh. Why is there only one question? There is one question. Oh, that's easy then. Is that it? Or is it going to change? Oh, no. I don't know, unless it's a new format and it changes. Let's try it. Which chocolate bar are you going for? you got Snickers. It's a 10-pack yeah. of Snickers. A singular Mars, oh. a ten pack of Kit Kats, or five twin Twixes. <laughs> I don't think it matters the quantity. I think it's just which one do you prefer? Uh, yeah. Um. If they were Kit Kat chunkies, I'd take a Kit Kat Ooh, chunky. Yes. But because it's not, do you buy I'm all the chocolate gonna... off the edge like I do? No, I don't. No. Oh, I'm just sad like that. Oh, I don't have time for that sort of thing. Straight down the hatch, dear. <laughs> Straight in, all in one. Uh, no, but because because it's not a chunky, and I like it chunky. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Snickers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fair dues. Um, just to be different. I mean, I do like a Kit Kat because they're quite light. But there again, Twix, you've got the caramel as well, as well, and the biscuit and the chocolate. Well, that's, well, that's what a Snick Twix is. I've just described it. Um, yeah. I'm going to go with Twix. <laughs> good okay. Shout, it good does shout. come up with another question. Okay. Excellent. Okay, good. Okay. I'm going to say, if you're going to base it off one question, it's not going to be that accurate. Yeah. Okay, How about so something, something savoury? Oh, 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 oh. Um, what does it say? It's We have a quesadilla. No, no, you've not read the full question. Oh. How about something cheesy? Oh. <clears throat> How about something cheesy to they satisfy your savoury needs? If it ain't cheesy... Oh, we needed that, didn't we? <laughs> I needed that this week. I did. Okay, so we have quesadilla. We have Cheetos, grilled cheese, or nachos. Those nachos are it. They look loaded, don't they? They've got they everything. They've good. got the full works. You can't even see the nachos for the. I'm not even sure there's cheese on there actually, but <laughs> I can now can, no, can see uh, like cheese. Okay, good. Well, I, I want the nachos. Those nachos look sexual. <laughs> I'm going to go for a quesadilla. Can't knock a quesadilla. I mean, Very the one nice. in the picture doesn't awesome. look great, but oh, no, just but imagine going to, ordinarily. Um, going to a GDK or something. Big yeah. one. Oh, not GDK. Yeah, they do them, don't they? What's the other place that does them? Taco Bell. I haven't got them. Yeah, Taco quesadilla. Bell. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go I for a quesadilla. Them. Okay. Now, choose an ice cream sandwich to Ooh. enjoy. Oh, wow. Brownie ice cream sandwich. <laughs> snickerdoodle ice cream sandwich wow we have chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwich that sounds a bit boring brookie. compared to the others <laughs> it does it does or brookie ice cream chat sandwich can i just pause for one second i need yeah. to tell you a story yeah on saturday yeah 
my tiny, tiny dog decided that she would like some chocolate chip cookies. Oh, yeah. And she ate three very large ones okay. and brought the fourth one down and laid it at my feet. And I was like, you haven't. <laughs> you actually haven't. <laughs> oh, my God. I was so angry. She really had eaten three of them. Oh, so we dear. had to call the vet up, right? And the vet was like, oh, yeah, how quick can you get here? And we were like, oh, a quarter of an hour. And they were like, okay, we'll see you then. But she was so cheerful as well. She said, how quickly can you get here? Oh, in about 15 minutes. Okay, see you then. Bye. And it was like, <laughs> oh, my God. They had to induce her to be sick. Yeah. Until they were satisfied it had all come out. Oh, dear. Get. And that was nearly 200 quid. Jeez. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, luckily, we've got really good insurance. Everyone should have Pet Plan. Go and get Pet yeah. Plan. Um, not Spawn, but really good. Uh, so they will fork out for the, the bulk of that. Um, <laughs> it's just really annoying, isn't it? Anyway, it is. back to back to the program uh, back so to the scheduled programming if you're at home thinking what the hell's a brookie ice cream sandwich it's yeah, like the chocolate chip cookie one but half of it is being coated in chocolate it has yeah do you know the one that really oh, it's either one or two for me i think i'm gonna go brownie okay i'm thinking snickerdoodle okay just because yeah. it looks bigger and i'm a fat git I like that logic, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> okay, make a mug cake in your microwave in minutes. Okay, I've I never done this once and it was minging. Was it? <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that these are good. So we have a cookies and cream cookies and cream mud cake. We have molten chocolate, carrot cake, and chocolate chip. I feel like a mug carrot cake would be awful. Yeah, I'm not too sure how they're doing that. No. No. Would you not try it just just as a one-off? No, I want the molten chocolate. Oh, I was looking at that one. But there again... You have you have it, you have it. No, I'll no, have, um... no, actually, it looks a bit too sickly. I'm quite happy with the chocolate chip because it looks a bit fluffier. Right, okay. I'll go molten chocolate because I can manage. Okay. <laughs> okay. Choose a flavour of Pop-Tarts that you would love. I've never eaten a Pop-Tart in my You've never life. had a Pop-Tart? No. Wow, you need to get one. My, well, I think there is, are some in the cupboard. My daughter likes them, Aldi, but I'm not interested. Aldi do a knockoff version, like half the cost. <laughs> I mean, you get like half okay. the filling as well, but it's still half the cost. Okay. A 32 okay. pack of strawberry or cherry. I've not seen 32 packs over here. That must be an American thing. That must be. Oh, blue raspberry. <laughs> okay. Uh, s'mores. Okay. okay. So that's just basically and marshmallow. Chip. Marshmallow and chocolate, I think. Okay. From the look of it. At why least. blue raspberry? Do you know why they make ra blue raspberry flavour? No. So it's supposed to be just raspberry flavour. And it's all started with ice creams. And it's because... If you have a raspberry ice cream, it comes out like a pinkish colour, the same as a strawberry one. And it's harder to differentiate between oh. the two. So they put blue colouring in it to make it blue raspberry. So there's no such thing as a blue raspberry. Yeah. <laughs> but the flavour is blue raspberry so that when people are scooping ice creams in the ice cream parlour, they don't fuck it up. I'm loving You've... that fact. That's a great fact. That is a good one. And I, I love that, that really one on recently. TikTok. How did I remember that? I'm <laughs> actually shocked at myself. Honest, I don't remember important shit that I need to know. <laughs> but I can tell you why blue raspberry is a flavour. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, heard Fair it play. here first, guys. Uh, what did oh. I click? I haven't clicked yet. I'm just getting excited. No, I don't <laughs> I don't know which one. I don't think cherry or strawberry. I think they can taste quite fake. You know what I mean? Oh, can they? Like artificial, okay. do you not think? Well, usually yeah, well, cherry and strawberry do taste artificial. In I suppose, yeah, you're right. You're right. I think it's got to be... Bet I'm not interested in blue raspberry either. Blue things just make me think of headaches. So it's got to be between the s'mores and the chocolate chip for me. I mean, I could demolish either. Yeah, me too, I think. <laughs> I'm going to go... Go on, you, you choose. You I'm going to go for the s'mores. 
Okay, you go for the s'mores. Yeah. I'm going to go chocolate chip. Okay. Okay. Right. Which cereal would you like a bowl of? Oh, these are some interesting options. Yeah, why? Because <laughs> you got Honey Nut Cheerios, Lucky Charms, yeah. Fruit Loops, yeah. or Corn Flakes. Why yeah. can't they have been... Um, honey Nut... Honey Nut Corn Flakes. Because I would have jumped on that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, Lucky Charms, they're great when you're a kid. But they actually taste of cardboard in reality. Uh, yeah. Well, I suppose it would do now because we're not allowed to put sugar in anything, are we? Um, True. And I've heard that Fruit Loops don't taste very good either. I've never had them. I've never but... had them. Cornflakes to me are boring, so I think I'd go Honey, honey Nut Cheerios. I agree with you. And because we've gone different on everything else... I'm going to click that one as well. Okay. okay. Now then, you can oh, you can have a cream pie Ooh. on this one. Oh, can I? Do you like a, do you oh. like do you like a good cream pie? Oh, I feel like I'm being treated. <laughs> a, 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 not a, not a normal cream cream pie, a banana cream pie. <laughs> oh, 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 I wouldn't say no. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a banana cream pie before. <laughs> yeah, okay, pull the other one. <laughs> okay, so uh, the, the way they ask the question as well, would you be open <laughs> to having a slice of pie? Banana cream? Uh, yeah, so we have <laughs> key lime pie, which I've never had, and it does appeal, actually. I think it looks most like nice. uh, cheesecake, doesn't it, really? It does, yeah. Uh, which... Yeah, a lot of American pies are very cheesecake-like, aren't they? Uh, banana cream pie, apple pie, or pumpkin pie. Man, I could eat all of these, honestly. Well, I don't like pumpkin. Okay. I'm going to go for the key lime. I think the key lime, I'd love to try that. Because I, I imagine like that's that. like a cheesecake, but like with but, a bit of a lime flavour. But very, Yeah, like a, like a lemon cheesecake. Yeah. With that, I think it would be really nice. Uh, but I don't, I'm not going to copy you. I think I'm going to go with the other one I'd quite like to try. And that, is, oh, I don't know, man, because apple pie is one of my faves. You're not tempted by the cream pie. Funnily enough, the banana cream pie, <laughs> as much as I would absolutely love to try it, it's not top of my list. Oh, okay. Yeah. I See, I'd like to try pumpkin pie, and I love apple pie. Fuck it, I'm going apple pie. Oh, good choice. Use my French, everybody. <laughs> Choose a type of popcorn you'd want to eat. Oh, what the? F Caramel, cheddar, butter, or chocolate? It ain't gonna slide down easy if it ain't cheesy. But I'd draw the line of popcorn. Yeah, it can't be on popcorn, can it? I don't think cheddar that, popcorn. Nah. That is never right. No, 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 no popcorn is yeah i don't mind salted if it's sweet and salted oh i like salted I, on its own oh yeah i quite like sweet and salted over salted i like the combination yeah, of the, the flavors yeah. um but it's kind of like what you get at cinema isn't it usually I chocolate is, is you don't tend to find not you don't tend to find chocolate like like that like someone's got a squirty bottle of chocolate and just no done very and it, thin it doesn't it doesn't appeal to me no i mean but caramel for me caramel is shouting what is that big brand of popcorn called butter kiss oh butter kissed yeah yeah toffee one yeah mm, i'm going caramel gorgeous. yeah me too me too it's the only way to eat popcorn so choose a type of potato chip to snack on. So we have cheddar it and sour cream. Easy if it ain't cheesy. <laughs> Jalapeno, barbecue, <laughs> or sea salt. I get money's worth well, out of bed today. Every time, yeah, every time he's well. got cheese in it. It's a midnight feast and we're eating cheese. It's not a great combination. Tanara's invited. Yeah, yeah no, it's fine. <laughs> oh man, what did I dream about? Oh, I was dreaming. I, I remember because I got up for a wee in the night and I okay. was like, I had the song in my head. It's the Glass Animals new song called uh, Creatures in Heaven. And that was like really in my head. And I was like, hang on, wait, no, I was actually dreaming about that song. I've never in my life dreamt about a song before, like ever. 
No, I, I, me neither. Maybe so they're doing some kind of go. subliminal advertising to you. Oh, maybe they have. Or maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe. I'm going to hear that song when I win the lottery or something, you know? <laughs> we can yeah. hope, can't we? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I need it. I need it. The HMRC have absolutely ass raped me. <laughs> okay, right. So, uh, I've never had cheddar and sour cream before. Would that not be like you. the Pringles sour, sour cream I, and chive? It's oh, probably no. the closest. I imagine it more like cheese and onion with like oh, a yeah, sour maybe. cream twist. I'm not sure it's my thing. I think it's probably fine. It's probably quite a nice dipping crisp, isn't it? Um. But I think there are others on here that I would prefer. Um, barbecue is all right. Jalapeno, that appeals. And the sea salt. It's between those two for me. I mean, sea salt's I don't a know. classic. Yes. So I'm actually quite tempted with the cheddar and sour cream here because... Give it a go. I've not, yeah, I've never tried it. And I think that'd yeah. go really well. Yeah. I'm going cheddar go. and sour cream. Okay, I think I'm going to go... I'm feeling spicy. Let's have jalapeno. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which hearty soup would you want? Okay, so we have pea soup, chicken it, it, noodle soup. Can we clarify what? that it's made from peas, not made from pea? <laughs> just, sorry, my immature mind thinking... <laughs> No, understandable. No, we've got to clarify that. Yeah. <laughs> pea, pea soup made with peas. Yeah. Um, <laughs> chicken noodle soup. That one does look we more have... like it's made with pee pee rather than. It does. <sighs> it does. Very <Pretty> watery. <laughs> we have tomato soup and butternut squash soup. Tell me your thoughts, Esty. I think that if that bowl of tomato soup was in front of me right now, I would devour it. Yeah. Because yeah. that looks like a lovely sprinkling of cream on the top. Mm. And a bit of yeah. a bit of greenery. To me the chicken noodle what? soup looks so disgusting. Yeah. Kind of reminds agree. me of, like them videos you see on TikTok where I don't know what country it's in or whatever, but they'll put like just like this big bowl of watery noodles in front of you. Yeah. And like you'll get your meat and you'll throw your meat in it and you'll all eat out this thing. I see. Yeah. I've seen it. I'm terrible at describing stuff. Obviously, I know and, what you mean. No, I know and what I was you mean. Thinking that looks rank, and that's what noodle, that looks like. Yeah, noodle soup, <clears throat> where it's just basically noodles in a broth, is not appetising to me whatsoever. Um, and I'm sorry, I don't really want to, unless it's like a very soft vegetable soup or something like that. I don't want to chew my soup. Okay, yeah, <laughs> it defeats the it being soup in my mind. So all of the others appeal to me. Um, I love soup. I'm a big soupy person. I think for me, it's going to have to be the butternut squash soup. Oh, I'm not a fan of butternut squash. So you can have that, and I'll do I, tomato. Okay, well, that's fair. That's fair. Then we can share the pea soup. I, I like the peas. I like pea yeah. soup a lot. <laughs> okay, choose a candy you're craving. So we have gummy bears, M and M, Sour Patch Kids, or Reese's Pieces. I know exactly which one I'm going for. I'm going for M and M's. You go for M and M's. I'm going for those Reese's pieces. Have you ever tried them? Yeah. Have you, they're not available here, are they? Uh, you can get them. Okay. Um, I, uh, yeah, but they're not like everywhere. So, are they like peanut flavored, or are they just chocolate? Like so, M &Ms? yeah, it's. I would say they're they're quite small, almost like um, you know when you get the mini Smarties. Do you remember those? Yeah, you used to get mini. They're about that size. They're quite small, and they it's like the crispy shell is the same as you would expect on a smarty, but the inside is like a very sweet, smooth peanut butter, and it's got quite a creaminess to it. The texture, oh, it's, it's really nice. Reese's do do good peanut butter, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they do. <clears throat> but no, I'm gonna stick with the M and M's just to yeah. differentiate okay. from you. Um, the Star okay. Patch Kids just like look like your standard. Fizzy sweets. Don't yeah. Like, yeah, I don't fancy any of that. No. Nah. Oh, lastly, okay, so, oh, we're at the end. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, so lastly, we're choosing a drink. So that that, that is so vague. They've said soda. It shows a Coke. Yeah. But I'm guessing they're going to let you choose any kind of soda. So there yeah. you go. A fruit smoothie, 
a hot chocolate or chamomile tea? I mean, it does say hot cocoa, but I'm going to take it as you can have it as hot chocolate. It is basically hot chocolate, isn't it? I don't know. I need the sweetness of the chocolate rather than the bitterness of just like cocoa. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But I think that's that is what they mean. They they mean hot chocolate. They're so just you know. This is a midnight feast, so I'm going to have mm -hmm. a hot choc. That does make the most sense. However, the mood I'm in at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I really fancy that smoothie. It just looks so nice. It does I look don't good. know what the hell is in it, but I really fancy that. It looks quite refreshing and yeah. Okay, Steve, what have you got as your results? My biggest fear is water. Either you can't swim or you never chose to choose to. <laughs> I I quite like swimming. That's like the only form of exercise I quite enjoy. So what do you think I got? I don't know what the possibilities are. Well, do you know what, Steve? My biggest fear Spiders. is apparently also water. Oh, is it? <laughs> the we only chose two things the same. <clears throat> so I don't know about that, do you? That's that's not quite right. Can we refresh the page and do it again? And I'll pick option one for everything. You pick option four for everything and see what comes up. <laughs> yeah. Right, there we go. I'm picking option one for everything now. Let's see. Are you actually? Yeah, I Are am. We actually do that. We're, we're, we're okay. gonna we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try and catch catch this thing out. Right. So you're doing option one. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. We'll do that. It's option one, for <laughs> everything, and see if we can get it is... to throw out a different. Although I have picked it option one most of the time. Oh, not there. I didn't. We literally picked different on all but two. I think it says again water. So... There is no other fear, is there? Right, let's go two, three. Hang on, I'm, two, yeah, I'm, I'm almost... God, you're quick, aren't three. you? Oh, mine is people! What? And, and it says, honestly, understandable. Wow, how did, did you get that to work? I don't know. There can't be a lot of know. options, though, for us to be... Well, I'm going to guess there's four. I wonder what triggers it. There must just be one question where... It, changes it oh i've got the dark oh okay Night lights are so for you the dark water people yeah which which is the number we haven't done yet i don't know that one i alternated oh did you oh uh, okay yeah okay um oh, let's do it i enjoyed that should we do another one more, and then I really must go and take the dog around the block for the 18th time today. <laughs> okay. This one is, if you get seven <laughs> right on this pub quiz, you should consider going on game shows. Right, okay. So, see if we can make some money out of uh, going on game shows. What creature is... Hang on, I'm not there yet. Shellob oh, for God. in Lord of the Ring. Oh, God. <clears throat> oh, God. What? I don't know. I don't have a clue. Is it an orc? Um, I don't know. I'm going to go for troll. And I'm okay, wrong. That was my... Oh. Oh. Annoying. <laughs> so was I. Never mind. Okay. It's a giant spider. Giant spider. Well, do you know what? That shouldn't exist. That's ridiculous. Uh, what year did The Simpsons begin not including the initial short... I think it's oh, shit. 1992. Uh, I think it's 1990. Oh, <laughs> oh I was closer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, oh. So the answer was uh, 1989. 1989. What did Halle oh, well. Berry win for her Oscar for? Why do fools fall in oh. love, jungle fever, swordfish or monsters ball? Not a fucking clue. No, me neither. I'm going to close my eyes and I picked. Mo oh. What? what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I picked Jungle Fever. Yeah, I picked Jungle Fever. Sorry. I'd gone for Monsters Ball. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you win. You, you win. were going to go for that and you didn't, and I got it. Oh, no, I thought I'd gone for <clears> it, <throat> but I hadn't. <laughs> what name of George okay. Clooney's character on ER? Doug Ross, Greg Pratt, oh. Robert Romano, or John Carter? Doug Ross. I don't know. I'm going John Carter. 
And you're right. I win. Doug Ross, well done. Ross, Doug, <laughs> the cons. Um, oh, music round. What was Ariana Grande's debut album? Hello. Dangerous Woman, My Everything, I... Yours Truly, or Sweetener. Well, am I, am I back? Am I back in the room? You didn't go anywhere. I did. Oh, well, yeah. you did. <laughs> Uh, so, what was Ariana Grande's debut album? I'm going for yours truly. Uh, okay, I'll go for my everything. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, you would. Uh, how did I know that? I don't know. Well done, you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you work on the radio or something, isn't it? <laughs> uh, what was the name of Julie okay. Lieber's song for the Barbie film? Speed Drive, Hey Blondie, Dance the Night, or what? Uh, was I made for? Um, dance the night. I'm going to go for what was I made for? Oh, right, well done. I knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> Benito Martinez Ocasio is a real name of which artist? Pitbull, Bad Bunny, Flo Rida or Tayo Cruz? I'm going to go Pitbull. It's not, is it though? Hang I'll on, go. wait. What was his name? Benito Martinez. Oh. I'm going to... Oh, it's Bad Bunny. Never heard of him. Okay. It's her, isn't it? No, it's, <laughs> oh, no, it can't be. What is Ed Sheeran's most streamed song? Shape of You, Perfect, Thinking Out Loud, or Castle on the Hill? Thinking Out Loud. I'm going to go Perfect. Oh, Shape of You. Okay, both failed that one. Oh, okay. What is the largest country in Africa by area? South Africa, Nigeria, Egypt, or Algeria? Uh, Egypt going to go nigeria it's algeria brilliant oh, God. <laughs> it's always the geography that really trips us up isn't yeah it? what body of water lies between azerbaijan and kazakhstan i'm gonna the, go um, the black sea no. i'm gonna say the adriatic okay uh, I was wrong too. Casp- yeah. See, I was torn between those two. God, took a 50-50 chance and fucked. <laughs> uh- <laughs> what is the highest country in the world? Bhutan, Nepal, Bolivia or Venezuela? Oh, Nepal. Okay, I'll go for Bhutan. I don't know where it is, but we'll go with it. Oh, what a guess. You win. Yeah, win. Yes. <clears throat> Annapolis is the capital of which US state? Maine, Maryland, Delaware or New Hampshire? Uh, Delaware. I'm going to say Maryland. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> got it right. I, I got four out of 12 correct. I scored oh. better than 20% of all other quiz takers. Oh, well, I did way better than that. I scored two out of 12. <laughs> <laughs> scored better than 3% of all quiz takers. <laughs> okay, right. Well, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I've not done today? What? I've not found a suitable meme, so I just need to find oh, one. Oh, you're kidding me. You've not found one. No, I haven't thought about it. Like, I've had literally <clears throat> the the reason I was two minutes late is because I was putting worms into the bin. Oh, lovely. Okay. Fair dues. Into the, not into <clears throat> the bin bin. Into the... <laughs> uh, I'm going to use. Okay. I found one I'm going to use. Okay. <laughs> You'll have to check topkopedia.online on the past memes tab to find out who won last week. I will put it on there. It will be on there. It will be on there now as you listen. But it's, I'm not checking now because we need to sort this out. I need to turn the dog out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Okay, so what have you got for us there, Steve? I have got... Oh, crap, where's it gone now? I've lost it. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh, <clears throat> I have got one. Do you want to tell me yours first? Okay, mine's just a text one. Really simple. It's Baby Reindeer 2. Piers says, It all started when I invited her on the show and offered her a glass of water. <laughs> there you go. You that one will probably win first, it. Folks. Right, I'm going with this one. Oh, I don't this know. This is <clears throat> a woman about to slap the bum of another woman. And it's uh, so in front of the woman doing the slapping, it says, Dads. And then... In front of the other woman, it says watermelons, bags of soil, mom's ass. Yes, <laughs> so true, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm coming for that one. But I feel like it's not just a dad thing to slap a bag of soil or a watermelon. 
Why well, do you do that as well? Do that? Yeah, doesn't everyone do that? Yeah, <laughs> they should do. Why not? Yeah, I think you should do. Anyway, anyway I, really oh, like I forgot to tell you what happened the other day to me. Oh, what happened the other day to you? So I ran out of toilet paper and I had to use lettuce yeah. leaves. It was just the tip of the iceberg. Oh, God. That's terrible. Oh, no. <laughs> Two deer walk out of a gay bar. One says to the other, I can't believe I blew 50 bucks in there. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That took me a moment. <laughs> oh God! Right, well, I'm struggling to find a joke. I thought, oh, I'll find one really quickly, and now I can't find. I've any. got another it's one. So I've got another one. Oh, okay, okay. What does a mafia and a puff, puff <laughs> start again? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good start. Uh, what does a mafia and a pussy have in common? One slip of the tongue, and know. you're in deep shit. Oh. <laughs> oh god, sorry. <laughs> uh, no, there's nothing good on here, sorry. Oh, no, I've okay. tried. I've tried. <clears throat> Make sure you send us your favourite jokes because we are enjoying putting them on TikTok. We really are. Oh hang on, how what's this? Oh gone. Why doesn't a pterodactyl make any noise when it goes to the toilet? <laughs> I don't I've never met one. Because the P is silent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it makes some noise when it turns the bike around, though. Yeah, I bet it does. Yeah, <laughs> I bet it well announces that. Why are romantic relationships a lot like Indian food? No idea. They always start out hot and spicy, but end up with someone on the toilet crying and asking, <laughs> why me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my I god like that one. Well, I like that. that's good so on that note I think we'll leave that right there uh, thank you very much for joining us for another episode of Topicopedia do head over to topicopedia.online where you can fill out our sexy feedback form you can also vote for your favourite meme of the week make sure you do every vote is absolutely critical um, and also you can get in touch with us on any of our socials do give us your feedback and we will read it out next week and we'll see you then bye see you then bye bye